Guys, welcome to the Lost Island Tiki Bar 2. I am here in Memora, New Jersey. I have a summer home here. And uh, I built this Tiki Hut and Bar 14 years ago, and it's definitely time for a rethatch. I'm going to take you guys over there in a second to show you uh, what's going to be done. And uh, I'm going to change things up a little bit, and uh, hopefully you guys can get some good information. If you have any questions, obviously you guys can always... Uh, text me message me whatever you want to do I'm happy to answer all your questions and if you like my content please like follow and share so uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around in a second but it is Father's Day I'm taking the day off and I just want to wish all the dads out there happy Father's Day and for all the dads that don't know how to drive a stick shift happy Mother's Day to you guys all right I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, let's see what we got here all right there we go so I built this 14 years ago and it is definitely time for a rethatch. But I'm not going to just do a rethatch. And yes, this is this is my tiki hut in uh, Memora, New Jersey. And it takes a beating down here. And again, this is 14 years old. And it took a beating this past winter. So just like some of my customers from many, many 20 years, 24 years ago, roofs need rethatched. And... Uh, this is certainly one of them. So it's not just yours, it's mine as well. So, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take, we're gonna take the tarp. We covered the bar for the winter, but I'm gonna take all this off and then I'll do another short video. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm getting rid of the shed. I have a whole new plan, a whole new idea on what we're gonna do here. So uh, let me get all this stuff cleaned up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I am back, and uh, yeah, just what I expected. It's a shit mess back here, and uh, as I said, I think in the last video, uh, I haven't been here for two years um, to open this place up, and because, you know, I work all summer, all, all spring and summer, I rarely get time to come down, and uh, I just turned the power on, and the outdoor ceiling fan still works. But, you know, I bought that 14 years ago. No, it was less than that. Probably 12 years ago I bought this one. And uh, it's actually an all-outdoor fan. So I think I paid like five fifty for it, something like that. So, yeah, you would expect it still to work. And it's running perfectly. But let me show you guys what I'm going to do here. And hopefully this could give you guys, uh, you do it yourself, or if this could give you guys some ideas, glad to help. So, holy crap, look at that. It's all rotted the floor is rotted and it's all pressure treated but sitting here for 14 years in the sand tends to go so like i said i'm ripping everything out i'm keeping the bar obviously if you look at the bar the bar is in like perfect condition this is about 14 years old and yeah there's my there's my evil sign i think the wind blew that off but uh the bar is still in like perfect shape for as old as it is the refrigerator was in there clean that up I opened the cabinets nobody stole my stereo that's how old this bar is I still have a stereo in there all right so here's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna move the bar we're gonna I'm gonna disconnect the electric we're gonna move the bar now this isn't all happening today but I'll keep videos I'll keep making progress and making videos because uh, I have a short window to come down here uh, we got a bunch of projects coming up so obviously they're first carpenter's house is never done so here's what I'm gonna do here's the shed right here so I'm taking the shed down and this thing's 28 years old it's still in decent shape um, I'm, but I'm gonna rip it down if somebody wants this shed it's free it's yours I think it's nine uh, eight by nine something like that um, but once the Tiki Hut comes down, the shed's going to get ripped down. If anybody wants it, you're free to get it. I'm not holding it for anybody. Um, I'm, when it's time for me to take it down, it's coming down. So if you want it, let me know, and it's yours. Uh, it's still still pretty decent inside. But uh, I'm not putting another shed in. So, yeah, the shed's still decent. Um, but I'm not putting this new shed in. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to build... A, tiki hut to cover where the existing one is now to the back of this shed i'm going to put a dividing wall in it which the dividing wall will divide the new uh tiki hut and bar and uh and the back side will be a shed that you can walk into but it'll all be under 
a new tiki hut which i'm going to do an all synthetic so it will never go bad again i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the floor yet i don't know if i'm going to do pavers um maybe i'll get a a better type of pressure treated um this pressure treated lumber came from probably lowe's or home depot so it's not really meant for ground contact so if i build another one i'll get some get some better pressure treated uh, this is typically the stuff you use on a deck that's raised up off the ground. So that's my idea. New tiki hut and the new shed will be part of the tiki hut all under one thatched roof. So what do you guys think? Uh, love to hear your guys' thoughts and uh, opinions. And uh, I'm going to do this for me. So let me know what you guys think. All right, from the Lost Island Tiki Bar 2 down in Memora, right outside Ocean City, New Jersey. Tiki Kev out.